Riot police in Istanbul are cracking down on protesters as clashes there are breaking out. NBC's chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel is in Taksim Square with the latest. Richard, good morning. Good morning, Natalie. The clashes here are ongoing. The air is thick with tear gas and black smoke from barricades that the protesters have set on fire. Today, Prime Minister Erdogan thanked his security forces for launching this crackdown and said it would continue. Just before 7 a.m., riot police moved in to drive out protesters from Taksim Square. It's the largest open area in this city, not used to scenes like this. There are now hundreds of riot police here in Taksim. The air is thick with tear gas. The police came in this morning expecting clashes, and now they've got them. But despite all the gas, the protesters fought back, throwing stones and Molotov cocktails. But why all of this? It started two weeks ago with a small demonstration against government plans to bulldoze a park near Taksim Square. But it has grown well beyond that now. It has become a movement against Prime Minister Erdogan, a strong, democratically elected U.S. ally. Demonstrators say he's too authoritarian. But Erdogan does have a huge base of support in this country. In fact, the government seems surprised that a protest over a park has grown into the biggest clashes in Istanbul. This is normally the center of a tourist area here in Istanbul. Now all of the hotels around here are empty. We saw tourists leaving, covering their noses and mouths because of the black smoke. You can see it billowing behind me. The air is still stinging because of this tear gas. Tonight, demonstrators say they are going to come back here and challenge the police in force with a big demonstration. Natalie? Richard Angle, do take care of yourself there in Istanbul, Turkey.